Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time checking in, please click that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. If you follow this channel, one of my very original videos that I did was a Lund Genesis Elite roll-up tonneau cover. And that was a just a fabric tonneau cover that I, I'd actually received from Lund. And I put two years on that cover, and it worked out really well. I, I had no problems with it. Uh, I actually beat it up way more than it's supposed to be. I put it through some automatic car washes, which it says not to do, and I actually had a membership for the car wash, and I ran it through a couple times a week, and it held up tremendously well, never leaked, uh, never had any problems. Basically, I'm looking for more of a secure setup so I can put stuff in the bed of the truck without fear of somebody uh, you know, taking a razor blade and or being able to just take the Velcro and lift it up and see what's in the back of the truck. I'm going to take you through the installation and the process. It uh, came in freight on uh, ABF and I actually asked them to hold it at the shipping depot so I can come and pick it up. So stay tuned and we will get it installed. Now again, this is the Roland Lock E-Series RC221E, link in the description below for more information. It also came with the cargo manager, which I will be doing in a separate video. They do recommend that you have two people install this, but I was able to do this pretty easily on my own. And with any modifications like this, if you're going to do it on your own, it's always smart just to think one or two steps ahead. So as you're unboxing everything, just make sure you get it all laid out so that you're thinking of the next steps ahead. Working smarter and not harder. So I'll go ahead here and just start unboxing everything, go through what we have here. Here we have our cargo shield, which is about one of the last things that'll go on. We'll set that off to the side. And then we have our override cable that is used in the event of a motor failure. You can still always operate this cover by just disengaging the motor. And here we have our hardware bag, some vinyl protector, which is used in maintenance of the vinyl seals, the two drainage tubes and housing brackets, and the wiring harness. Now you do have to remove any of the adjustable tie-downs you might have up at the front bulkhead of the truck. There are three at the front and then two on the sides that do have to come off. That is the only real bed prep you have. And the first step is to run the wiring harness down the driver's side of the truck and just get it roughed in. And then we'll go ahead and we will lay out all of our hardware. There are 63 pieces and it's always good just to go through and get it all organized before you start. Now the first step is going to be install these housing brackets up front. Uh, there's this little tang that goes on the back of the bolt and that kind of holds it in place as you tighten it down. And then you can go ahead and move the housing in place. And once you have that in place, you can then remove all of the plastic. Now you can remove the cover, which is held on with two screws. And just set that off to somewhere where it's not going to get scratched in the process. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start mounting up all of our track hardware. And this is something you want to just kind of rough in. Keep it loose because it does require a little bit of adjustment. Uh, if you do over tighten it, you can always go back and just loosen it up. But again, just leave everything kind of roughed in here because once you put the tracks on, you will need to make some final adjustments. So as we place our passenger side rail, you just set it up on the side of the truck and just kind of push it up onto the cover and just make sure everything is kind of lined up. Again, this is just a loose fitment. You want to make sure the tailgate closes and then you can go ahead and snug everything down and move on to your wiring. Now, as always, disconnect that negative terminal before getting in any wiring. And this harness is designed to just run down through the bed of the truck, along the frame rail and up through the wheel well. Very simple wiring uh, routing. So you'll just go ahead and hook it to the positive terminal of the battery and give it a good ground and that is it. This thing worked immediately after I was done wiring it. It was actually much easier than I would have ever anticipated. Uh, as you can see here, you just want to cycle it through a couple times and make sure that the cover is working and that no other adjustments are needed on the rails. And then you can go ahead and hook up your lights. And once everything is working, you can go ahead and put on your cargo shield. And that is it for the Roland Lock E-Series installation. Again, really straightforward, all in. This took me probably about an hour and a half, and that includes with filming time. And if you are looking for information on how to assemble the cargo manager, that will be in a separate video linked in the description below. 
and I will show a little bit of in this video as well. I just wanted to go through here and show you some real world testing of this E-Series cover and I gotta say I'm very impressed with this. The first step is going through the car wash. Uh, now it kind of did as exactly what I had expected. Uh, it was actually more watertight around the rails than what I would have anticipated. Nothing came in along the rails. However, when the jets do hit the back of the truck, which is a very high pressure, you can see it does dribble down here on the back of the tailgate a little bit. Uh, it does get in a little bit, but uh, through the tailgate itself, in the bed of the truck, you can see the water actually stays uh, between the lowered channels uh, and basically just drains down the front of the truck. So theoretically, if you had something that was flat sitting in the back of this truck, the water would run underneath it and filter out the front of the truck uh, as it's designed to do. Now in a regular rain, which I've been unable to test as I live in Arizona and we don't get a whole lot of it, I would anticipate that even in a torrential downpour that a little to no rain at all would get in the back of this bed of this truck uh, and everything would remain dry as designed. And again here you can see another little hit of some jets on the back of the truck and a little more water comes over. Most of it just runs down the back of the tailgate and right out the bottom. And uh, again, I am very, very impressed with uh, how this handled water in a, a pressurized environment. Now the next step of the car wash that did have me a little bit concerned just from a longevity standpoint is the drying cycle. That high pressure air really beats on the back of this thing pretty good and gets it kind of bouncing a little bit. But ultimately, I mean, it held up fine. I've taken it through the car wash probably half a dozen times at this point, and I always keep an eye on it. But um, ultimately, I think it really does hold up well. But I will say that if I got in a situation where the car wash somehow got stalled, somebody behind me got stuck, and I was stuck underneath the dryers, I would probably just drive out to avoid it from getting pounded on by that air but I'm sure it probably would hold up to it just fine. Now, as you can see, going down the highway, the, one of the nice things with this cover is you can open and close it whenever you want. Uh, you can open it going down the highway at 70 miles an hour, as I do here, and you can see as it's closing, this is where you can see the air uh, going over, and it does start to have a little bit of flutter into it. But this is at 70, 75 miles an hour going down the highway, and that's about as much as you're ever going to see out of this cover. So after a few weeks of having this on the truck, again, it's held up really well. Uh, it does collect a little bit of pollen in these slats here as, you know, we're in spring now. And uh, in the desert, there's just naturally a lot of dust and pollen floating around. But as you can see, the operation is flawless. I can keep this $600 baby trailer for our bikes in the back of the truck without fear of it wandering off at a store or something like that. Uh, also, the cargo manager does a great job of keeping that uh, stationary so it's not sliding around, banging into things as I'm driving down the highway. I also put these two bike attachments on the cargo shield uh, just to lug around our bicycles, which worked out great. Uh, and again, here is the cargo manager, which is a great, uh, just adjustable uh, little cargo divider. And it really holds up well, and it's just a great way to uh, really kind of be able to change your bed around and keep things where they need to be and from banging into each other. Another nice thing about this cover is it does come with two key fobs, so I can keep one in the truck and one in the house. Uh, also, as you go to close this here, it does have a safety mechanism, so if something were to get between it and the tailgate, uh, it would stop and reverse uh, to free anybody from being stuck. And it also does slow down in the last maybe foot or so of operation, so it's not just slamming into the tailgate uh, to close. And they really have thought of everything with this cover. As it's closing, it has a little brush on there. You can see that really keeps leaves and stuff like that from finding their way inside of the bulkhead itself. And if that even were to happen, you can pull the cover off and clean it out or spray it out. Uh, but I really anticipate uh, really not having to do that uh, all that much. Uh, again, I really think this cover is, is very, very strong. Uh, you can see it does have a little bit of flex to it, but it is aluminum and it is very strong. So if you want to have a long-term review of this, I will be putting something out in the future. So please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. And we will see you next time.